telemarketing scams. While they are as old as the phone itself, it might surprise you that in 2022, the total reported losses from fraud activities in the USA, according to the FTC, were more than $9 billion. The actual worldwide number could be at least twice that. For comparison, that is more than the GDP of 40% of the countries in the world. So, what can be done? How can you protect yourself and others against these scams? Welcome to Amazing Projects. Join us as we delve into the deepest and darkest corners of the internet in search of the most unscrupulous and annoyingly profitable telemarketing scams out there. The history of telemarketing scams dates back to the early days of the telephone. One of the earliest recorded telemarketing scams occurred in the 1960s and involved fraudulent schemes related to magazine subscriptions. In these scams, telemarketers would call individuals, often the elderly, and offer them attractive magazine subscription deals. They would use high-pressure tactics and misleading information to convince people to subscribe to magazines at inflated prices or for services they didn't need. More than 60 years later, the same exact tactics are being used today. Even the best of us can sometimes fall for scams. My grandpa, may God bless his soul, was scammed by a fortune teller. They managed to convince him that one of his ancestors had buried a pot of gold on his farm. It took a couple of days of digging for him to finally realize that he had been scammed. Years later, we found out that he had paid the fortune teller a hefty sum. Anyway, in today's world, fortune tellers are the least of our problems. Most scams come from telemarketing, so here are some pointers that might help you identify these scammers. Be cautious of offers that sound overly generous, such as winning a lottery you never entered, receiving a prize for a contest you didn't participate in, or getting exclusive deals that seem too good to be true. Scammers often use high-pressure tactics to force you into making quick decisions. Be suspicious if the caller insists that you must act immediately or within a very short time frame. Legitimate businesses will not ask for sensitive information like your social security number, credit card details, or bank account information over the phone. Be skeptical if the caller requests such data. If you receive a call out of the blue from someone you don't know, especially if you are on a do not call list, be cautious. Unsolicited calls can be a red flag. Be wary if the caller insists on payment through unconventional methods, such as wire transfers, gift cards, or cryptocurrency. Legitimate businesses usually accept standard payment methods. Phishing is a tactic where scammers use emails, text messages, or websites to impersonate a trustworthy entity, tricking individuals into revealing sensitive information such as passwords, credit card numbers, or social security numbers. The example on screen is of a phishing email made to look like it's from Amazon. In some cases, the scammer asks you to click on a link, which might redirect you to a virus or a form to fill with your personal information, tricking you into giving out your social security or credit card number. A quick and easy way to recognize this is not from Amazon, is the greeting. An actual email from Amazon will have your username, not just, dear customer. Tech support scams involve scammers using pop-up ads to scare users that their computer might be broken or that they have a virus. A number is shown on the screen for you to call, claiming it is the number of the technical support of a big tech company. They aim to make you pay for fixing problems that aren't real. In some cases, they attempt to steal personal or financial information. Allowing them remote access may result in malware or ransomware installation, risking your data and device. They also might try to sell a one-time subscription fee, usually to some freeware application, that would fix all the issues on your PC. Investment scams aim to get unsuspecting people to hand over money. They can seem perfectly legitimate, appearing knowledgeable with websites, testimonials and marketing material. Today, due to the internet and digital communications, investment scams can be much more complex. Some of these scams are so convincing that even professional investors have fallen victim to them. Some common scams include scammers cloning the websites of legitimate firms or getting you to invest in scam and unregulated investments which offer returns much better than the rates being offered on savings accounts. 
A good rule of thumb to spot these scams is that they all claim to be able to offer high levels of return for very little risk. If it looks too good to be true, then it probably is and should be avoided. A tale as old as time. Never assume a person that you've only met online is who they say they are. Scammers go to great lengths to convince you the relationship is real and manipulate you to give them money. Romance scammers will leave you broke and broken-hearted. Scammers will find you on social media, dating or gaming apps and websites. They might also text or email you. They hide behind fake profiles and identities, sometimes of famous people. They're really good at making you feel special, so you believe the relationship is real. Once you trust them, they have an emergency and ask you to give them products or money to help them. Or they ask you to do things for them, like set up accounts or transfer money they give you. Scammers can sometimes even wait for years to build this trust. A good way to avoid this is never to give money or do favors for someone you've never met in real life. Everyone knows about this, right? Well, I wouldn't be so sure. Last year, more than $700 million were scammed from all over the world with this tactic. The premise is simple, and the message they send also. I am a rich person, or the relative of a rich person, that has fallen on tough times. I just need a quick loan to go to where all my money is hidden, and then we can share all of it together. Millions of dollars. You then end up sending money, usually a couple hundred, and they disappear. Or if you are gullible enough, they might try for more. All of this can be easily avoided. If it's too good to be true, it most probably isn't. Also, if someone calls you claiming to be from some big company, tell them you'll contact them via their official email and phone number and watch them get angry and try to scare you. And that is it for our video on the top scams out there. Feel free to share this with your grandparents as they might find it useful. And as always, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more amazing projects.